Hey everybody, Jonathan here. In this video, we're going to use OpenAI to explain uh, some financial principles uh, using just a regular prompt uh, in the OpenAI API. If you get anything out of the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I post a lot of content like this about uh, AI and, and uh, how it can be used. So let's get right into it. So I had just asked OpenAI, you know, tell me some things about finance. Tell me some important uh, financial uh, formulas and they're saying NPV, IRR, ROI. So I'm going to ask OpenAI to explain some of these formulas. So the first one is explain net present value to me. I guess that's not a question, it's a statement or command. Explain net present value to me. Let's see what it says. Net present value is a financial calculation that measures how much a value of a project or investment will create in the present. It involves comparing the expected cash flows of a project or investment with its initial cost. NPV calculates how much discounted future cash flows are worth today in today's money, taking into account inflation, taxes, and other costs. A positive NPV suggests that the project or investment is likely to generate returns that exceed its costs and typically a sign of a profitable opportunity. Consequently, a negative NPV suggests that the project or investment is not likely to generate enough returns to justify its current cost. Interesting. Okay, so that's, that's a succinct explanation. So let's ask it to give me an example of NPV with numbers and figures. Okay, here we go. Wow, look at this. So let's assume that we're considering a potential investment in a project with an upfront cost of $500,000. And the following cash flows over the next five years, year one, 200, year, or year one, yeah, year one, 200, year two, 150, year three, 175, year four, 225, year five, 250. Assuming a discount rate of 10%, the net present value of the project is calculated as follows. Wow. So you, you do NPV equals, and then you put the negative 500K, which is your initial investment, plus 182,000, which is year one. Well, I don't know how it gets that. Plus 125,600 for year two, plus 100, plus this, plus this. So the NPV is 849,000. Wow, that's a terrible explanation. What the heck? Where the heck does it get this number? These numbers from? Um, what if I take the temperature down a little bit? Let's try this uh, by taking the temperature down to zero. Okay, this is much better. So if, if you have the temperature too high, it kind of can get a little wonky. You're considering investing in a project that requires an initial investment of $10,000. The project is expected to generate cash flows of 2,000 per year for the next five years. And the internal rate of return is 10%. Okay. There you go. So here you go. Negative 10,000 plus, so that's the initial, plus the first year, 2,000 2, divided by 1.1 plus 2,000 divided by 1.1 times 2, which is a, uh, 2.2. I think these are supposed to be cubed. Cubed, the quadruple, or whatever that is, quartetted. <laughs> right, like. Two thousand divided by one point one eighteen eighteen divided by one point two sixteen. See, I get a different number there, All right? And they get uh, the third one is going to be two thousand. 2,000 
divided by 1.3. Yeah, so those are supposed to be cubed. Um, there's a formatting issue here. They're not cubed, but these are supposed to be raised to the power of. Unreal. Yeah, so um, I'd be a little skeptical of using OpenAI to teach me. I mean, you can't be having those basic mistakes. Am I not looking at something properly? That's a four. You know, that's a that's not raised to the four. There's supposed to be some sort of a carrot. Hold on a second. So perhaps it's this this formatting strip function. Let's see what that does. To you. Let's see. I'm using a, a built-in Python function to strip out some extraneous characters. That doesn't do anything. Um, Hmm. Let's try this. Try it a little differently. Still no. Still uh I think it's returning some special characters that I might not be able to see. Yeah, that would make some sense. You just gotta be careful. So uh, I learned something here that there are some definitely some some issues and uh, yeah hit the like button hit the subscribe button uh, we'll go more into detail thank you so much bye bye